So with uh, Coach Dean Burrell and uh, Dino, first of all, starting up away to uh, Bracknell, 7-1 win. How do you think the sort of team performed in that game? Very solid and good performance all round. Um, you know, defensively we were really quite sound. Uh, you know, took away a lot of shooting chances. Um, you know, and they were, we got a lucky goal in the last few seconds just to take away a kind of shutout from them, unfortunately. Um, but no, I mean, you know, we we done very well in that game. I think. Um, Bracknell uh, are, are still a, a good team that will upset a few people on the way, but uh, yeah, it's was very pleased with that, that result in there. And then, so we're going on to the right, a bit of a tougher game where you're against Invicta. Uh, team came down from 3 0 down. How do you think, sort of, how do you like turn it around? Uh, we, we just really highlighted the, the, the points that uh, were going on really. I mean, you know, we, we got, we never got fired, we, we never got started in the first period really much. We had opportunities, um, you know, and a couple of power play goals in us. But I kind of always felt we were still in the game, we were still producing, we were still, you know, creating chances. Um, so we, you know, we just changed a couple of bits about. Um, obviously, we've got the, the, the first goal back. You know, it, it kind of gives a bit more faith. Um, and then in the last ten minutes, you know, we changed a couple of little bits around, and uh, you know, it came good for us. Um, which was a great character builder for us, um, especially in their place. So you know, overall, very pleased with that. And how do you think, sort of like, ah, oh, shit, that's cool. And uh, going back onto that game, how do you sort of think the team performed, sort of going sort of further and further on into the game? Uh, I mean, we were getting uh, more and more confidence, and uh, you know, we were dominating more, more and more as the game went on. It, you know, in patches, you know, the I mean, victim was still a threat. We're still, they still threatened us. Um, but you know, if uh, maybe started a bit sharper, um, could be a different story. But you know, going out in Victor, pulling out a draw, coming back from 3 0 down, you know, if someone asked me if I'd take that, yeah, I'd take that, definitely. And going on to the um, Essex Derby against Romford, it's been sort of a bit of a long time coming. How did you sort of feel the game and enjoy the game from your point of view? It was, from my point of view, you know, it was a good end to end game. It was, it was, uh, it wasn't really much of a classic. It was, um, you know, it was, it was an old fashioned derby game, really. Um, it, you know, it kind of had a bit of everything in it. Um, except for a couple of scraps, probably, but they, I don't know if they were brewing or not. Um, but, it, you know, it was, it was, uh, it was a hard fought battle for both teams, and uh, I think you know either team could have taken it out, probably. Was there anything sort of in particular you were uh, pleased with from the Chieftains? Our work rate was generally good, you know, um, and I think that uh, you know we, we still produced. Um, defensively, we were, we were quite strong. Um, obviously, Clemmer getting a shutout, um, you know, that's a, a plus. Plus there again, and um, you know it's good overall team performance really. Um, and glad to get the win. And the uh, following night at a long road trip to Cardiff. How did like the previous night against Romford affect the team? Um, I think you know we're we're not fully fully fit. Um, I think that's safe to say. Uh, we we're, we're getting stronger and stronger each week. But I, you know, I think it kind of knocked it out of us a little bit. Um, you know, we've only been on the ice here six times, so you know we've still got a bit catch up to do compared to maybe some of the, the other teams. So it did, it did the road trip as well. You know, bus broke down and bits and pieces, so we're right in, get changed. We haven't got really time to to get prepared properly. Um, and it was, it was quite a high tempo game again on the, 
bigger life. So, uh, you know, it, it was uh, getting there, but started to get going and see what happens. Uh, and how do you think the team sort of performed me on that ice? And uh, it's all like, was, you, was the uh, team or performance affected by the absences like BT and Novak? Well, yeah, just uh, right off the bat, it was, um, you know, legs, you know. Um, uh, obviously, we had a couple of boys with a few knocks from the night before as well that were playing for them. So we had Blav and like BT and Jerry to come off the game. Um, you know, Richard Gunn wasn't wasn't available this weekend, he had a, a, a bug. Um, so, you know, the, the legs was an issue there, but uh, you know, we, we, we played through right to the very end and, and pulled out, you know, a, a draw out of that game, which uh, I'm pleased with. And one person who's uh, sort of coming to a lot of criticism is uh, Blaho Novak. How do you sort of think he plays the game and is there anything you just sort of can do or go and do is try and like turn it in a little bit? You know, I, I don't know if they, some of the criticism is a bit unjust, you know, I mean the, the kid just, uh, yeah, I mean there might be a couple of incidents that are uh, maybe, you know, he's a bit too eager at times um, you know, he, he kind of works hard and just wants that puck and um, I think that it's maybe a, at times it's a bit of a jump on the bandwagon sort of thing. Um, you know, he's uh, he, he just like the kid likes to get stuck in there and, and get that puck. And uh, you know, I think so, part of some of it's unjust. And uh, you know, let us see. You know, the, the boys. He's a good little player. He's a tough little player, and uh, he isn't he isn't afraid to get into the uh, places, the areas on the ice that are, uh, no one else wants to go into, so uh, just keep on going with that really. And a uh, final question, you got a uh, promotion about November? Yeah, the boys are, are doing a charity thing in November when you grow moustaches and uh, get sponsorship or something, so uh, I think there's going to be something in the rink about it. Um, so yeah, for the month of November, there will be a few dodgy moustaches getting shown. Is there any uh, website or will it be on the forum? Um, I, I'm pretty sure it was kind of just spoken about recently. So uh, I think it will all just get branded about pretty soon during the month and uh, hopefully we get support for a good, uh, for a good cause. And uh, final, final question. Just for a bit. Um, Montford coming up again this Saturday <coughs> away. How do you think the team's sort of going to perform and how are you going to sort of approach your game? Well, you know, we know what Romford have got um, and what they give. Um, it's, it's an Essex derby, it's going to be their place. You know, they don't want to get beat there. Um, it's not an easy place to go. Um, so it just does make for a good game. So, uh, See what I'm saying this time next week.